Could the U.S. approve a COVID vaccine by the end of the year? Here to update our timeline is Dr. Helen Boucher, Chief of Geographic Medicine and Infectious Diseases at Tufts Medical Center. Good to see you. Good to see you, Emily. So the big news this week, Pfizer says its vaccine may be 90% effective. We know other vaccines are in the final stage of their trials. How optimistic are you that we're going to have an answer maybe in the next couple weeks? Well, you know, this is good news, but it's important to um, mention a few things. First, this came out in a press release, so the data has not been reviewed yet, uh, either for publication or by the FDA. And second, this was an interim analysis. The study still has a way to go. So I think a few weeks is optimistic. Maybe a few months will have a signal of efficacy, and we hope that we'll see several vaccines, but certainly an efficacy in the 90% was unexpected and really could be very good news. So to that point, this process is moving really quickly. Is there any chance these companies may have skipped some safety steps along the way? Well, this is really important. The companies have all committed to not skipping any steps, especially safety steps. So the clinical trials are going as planned. The analyses are going as planned and there is a commitment to the full review by the mm -hmm. FDA and the public vetting by the FDA Advisory Committee and the CDC's Advisory Committee. So we're confident that those steps will happen so that we can all be confident that the vaccines that are authorized are safe and effective. That confidence will be so important a couple months from now. If this Pfizer vaccine is approved, some public health officials, they've already expressed a lot of concern about how they're gonna distribute this. What is the biggest challenge when it comes to this? Well, it's a challenge to think about distributing a vaccine that may require two doses to literally millions of people. And some of the vaccines, including these mRNA vaccines, require very cold freezers to be stored. So we're all working already to kind of ramp up our ability to manage this supply chain and the government is too. So I'm confident that we'll be able to do it, but it's very important that people understand this won't happen overnight and we need to be patient until we get there. Thank you for your insight as always. Really appreciate it, Dr. Boucher. Good to see you. You too, Emily, thanks.